Today, we will talk about how to make a living without a job. Let's have a look at the details. If you've lost your job or just don't feel like holding down a traditional job, you still need to find a way to pay your bills, right? There are actually lots of ways to make small amounts of money that you can use to support yourself. As long as you don't expect to live like a millionaire, you can totally support yourself without having to hold down a traditional job. Small tasks and saving money are the key. The first step is finding sources of income. Make a job out of your hobby. The fact of the matter is that anything you do that makes money is going to take time. And time plus money equals a job. No matter what you're doing in order to make enough money to support yourself. Do website tasks. There are a number of websites that will let you do quick tasks for small amounts of money. The most popular is Amazon's Mechanical Turk, but short task is also a good option. Keep in mind that the amount of money you get from these tasks is very small, but you should be able to do them easily while doing other tasks. House and pet sit. Start by house sitting for people that you know to build up references, they advertise online and in newspapers. Resell junk. Go to garage sales or hang out on websites like Craigslist and look for free or low cost items. Oftentimes you can slightly clean up an item or refurbish it a bit and get a lot more money when you resell it. Rent your home. If you own a house, you can rent a small, cheap apartment for yourself and then in turn rent out your own home. If your home rents well, your temporary apartment is cheap, and your mortgage is paid off or low, then this can be a good way to make some money. Use your body. You can sell your hair or be a test subject for cosmetic studies. Remember to be sure that it's legal in your country. Run errands. Lots of people have quick errands or chores that they need to do but don't want to do or don't have the time for. This can range from picking up groceries to mowing the lawn, a ride to the doctor to delivering a package. A good place to find such tasks that need doing is TaskRabbit. Do stock photography. Tutor in a subject you know. You can find lots of advertisements for tutors on sites like Craigslist. You'll probably need references, but the money can be good for almost no work. Do some advertising work. There are lots of opportunities to make money by helping companies with things like advertising. Design products. If you've got Photoshop and basic art skills, you can make money by designing some t-shirts and other products and selling them online through specialty retailers. Write website content. Lots of websites will give you money for producing content for them. Run a blog. This can get pretty job-like, but if you have fun and do it in a way that you enjoy then it won't be that big of a deal. And, the second step is saving money. Use only the base necessities. If you're young, live at home. This can save you a lot of money and help you build up a financial cushion so that you can more responsibly move out at a later date. Paying attention to how you spend your money can make you a more conscious spender and save you lots of cash. Budget. Plan how you'll spend your money and stick to the plan. This will save you tons of money in the long run. Only buy things at a discount. Clothes, food, household items, everything you buy should be at a discount. Never use credit cards. Avoid credit cards or any other kinds of loaned money. Use public transport. Using public transport can save you a ton of money on bills. If you have a long commute, an unlimited bus pass often costs less than just your gas bills alone. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.